Hello everyone, my name is Midas Nowens. I'm an assistant professor at Aarhus University, and I am presenting a paper called Consentomatic, Automatically Answering Consent Pop-Ups Using Adversarial Interoperability. This is work I've done together with colleagues uh, Rolf, Jenis, and Clemens. And this paper is responding to all of the uh, consent pop-ups that we see on the web today. And we developed a browser extension in response to this that automatically answers them for you to try and exercise, better exercise uh, the rights that you have. Now, here are some examples of these pop-ups that I'm sure we are all quite familiar with. This is from Quantcast. We also have something from CookieBot or uh, TrustArc. In 2020, I published a paper at Kai that uh, scraped uh, the web for a lot of these pop-ups and showed that many of them, 90% uh, of them to be exact, uh, are all not following the minimum requirements for legal compliance. Unfortunately, we haven't really seen an improvement in that number, uh, despite enforcement coming up but lagging behind a little bit. So we developed a browser extension, Consentomatic, which is available on the Google Chrome Store and on Firefox and is also open source um, that you can install whenever you go to a website. So here we have, for example, um, a recipe website where I've already been to before. Uh, so let me just clear the cookies. Now, when you go to this website, um, it, the extension automatically recognizes that there is a pop-up, uh, interacts with it based on your preferences, and then sets those preferences so that you don't have to deal with the pop-ups yourself anymore. This is what those settings look like. We have here a couple of different uh, purposes, commonly used purposes for data processing that uh, exist in these pop-ups. This is based on uh, the study from 2020 where I scraped uh, many of those purposes. So here you can toggle things on or off, everything's off by default, and then whenever you go to the website, uh, it automatically answers those for you. If you're interested to learn more about how exactly we built this and the difficulties uh, doing that using our model of adversarial interoperability, or if you want to install it yourself, um, please check out the paper and uh, look at the GitHub page where we have all of our code open source. Thank you.